I'm Reese Jones. We're at Syndicate again, of course. Where else would you be if you're at a scooter shop? Today we're going to be building another scooter. This time, the style's a bit different to my last few, just because I've been seeing some comments asking for a park kind of custom. So I'm usually one to say that you don't always need a certain part to ride a certain way. A lot of kids come into the shop thinking they'll get this part and instantly be able to do this trick. It doesn't work like that all the time. But when you're building a park scooter, generally lightweight parts are going to help you out. Generally park riders do more with their scooters in the air. So the lighter the scooter, the easier that's going to be for them. And that's what I've based the selection on today. We've got the grips. These are just my go-to grips. My number one, if you've seen the grip video, Ethic DTC, 170mm long from, from memory. These are in black. We did just get a whole lot more colors of these. They dropped a whole new range. Purple, red, blue, green, and uh, gum, and the marble color. So now you can get these sweet grips in a lot more colors. They're going to go onto some Ethic handlebars. So we've got the Dryad bars from Ethic. Out of all the aluminium bars we have, I'd say these are my favorite. There's a few reasons why. Most people usually go for the Reaper bars when they're looking at aluminium, but I reckon these are a little bit nicer. They're first of all lighter, and that's because of this down tube fluting here. There's a bit of material saved. And in the top tube, it's butted as well. The bar turns into an oval shape here. And I believe that's just a stronger and lighter design again. So yeah, these bars weigh just 800 grams. So they do come with a slit cut, which means they're ready to run with IHC compression. But now the bars come with these adapting shims. You can slip inside and run SES straight away. These bars are available in blue and black as well as this red. Next, got the SES clamp. This is a, one of our cheaper SES clamps, the Urban Art Primo Evo. It's got the removable shim so we can run these aluminium bars inside. And it's just got a pretty simple engraving on the side there. Very minimal design. If you want a good deal on an SES clamp right now, go look at these. They're really cheap. Actually, a lot of stuff is so cheap right now. We've been price matching. Going down from there, we've got a headset, that's the Tilt 50-50 red and white headset. I can't say too much about the headset, I know it's going to spin well and look sick, so there it is in the box. The deck, Pandemonium. This is a long version, 570 long which I'm pretty sure is like 22.3 or 4. So that's pretty long, but it's still a really light deck just because of the design. Kevin from Ethic is a genius when it comes to design. He can make a deck this big, this light, and not instantly break, you know? It's got the forged head tube, which is beautiful. 4.7 inches wide, solid brake with a metal insert. Yeah, it's, it's my deck of choice for this scooter. It's lightweight, but not too short, so... Yeah, it's the best of both worlds to me. The fork, Aztec Redux fork, in that matching red and chrome colorway. This thing is the lightest fork we've got. It looks good, feels good. Can only fit 110 mil wheels, but that's all right. That'll work. Yeah, Aztec's another company who just kills the design. So Aztec and Ethic in the way they do things, the design and the testing, they have a, a solid team and they really take care in, in the production to result in light but strong parts. You know, it's so cool. They're only progressing too, so yeah, we'll keep an eye on those companies. For the wheels, 
We've got tilts matching, 50-50 red and white wheels. I prepped these earlier with some flavor bearings on the inside, they're spinning well. And yeah, tilts got some of the nicest feeling wheels around, so we'll whack them on. It's gonna go with the colorway really nicely, especially once you see tilts red 50-50 grip. I'm sure you can imagine the scooter slightly, but I'm gonna build it anyway and show you. Something I didn't mention about these bars, they taper on the outside as well, so I think it's the only aluminium bar that can fit normal size barings. As I was saying, this scooter is lightweight, but still really big. You can get these parts from syndicatestore.com.au or from our shop in Brisbane. I'm Reese, and this is Syndicate Store.